So you want to be a hero. You've decided to contribute to the NX codebase. This video will take you through some tips to aid you in your quest. Before you start writing code, it's important to open an issue first. This allows you to define the exact problem that you're trying to solve and give a rough outline of how you plan to solve it. Filing an issue allows us to help save you time by making sure your work is going in a direction that fits with the rest of the project. Another possibility to consider is that maybe your fix does not need to be in the NX codebase at all. NX is a command line tool with a collection of plugins that go along with it. Each of these plugins contains executors, generators, migration generators, and some utility functions. But these plugins do not need to be in the NX codebase in order to function inside of an NX workspace. You could write a plugin for NX and host it in a repository that you have complete control over. Okay, so you've done your preparation and now you decided to enter the fray you're going to try to contribute code to the NX repository. You'll want to fork and download the NX repository and make your changes in a local copy. The contributing.md file has a lot of useful information that you'll want to consider as you're making your changes. Try to restrict one PR to one fix or one feature rather than mixing lots of changes all in one pull request. It's important to write unit tests and end-to-end -end tests for your changes, but debugging those tests can be difficult. To debug your unit tests, you, first you want to make sure everything is built, then find the file that you want to test in the build folder. We'll add a debugger statement here and copy this relative path. using jest and pasting in that relative path. Now we can step through our code and make sure it works the way we expect it to. The same process works for end-to-end -end files. They're found in the end-to-end -end folder here. We can add our debugger, copy the relative path, and paste it in. As you're making changes, it's important to consider what NX considers a breaking change. In the wiki here, there's an article on breaking changes. It's worth reading through this article to see if the changes that you're about to make will require a major version bump or can be included in a simple patch release. A great way of increasing the chances of your PR being accepted is if you include a migration schematic. This article by Manfred Steyer is an excellent guide on writing a migration schematic. You can also look at some of the examples that are already in the NX repository. Once all your code changes are complete, there's still some more work to be done before your PR is ready to be merged into master. But don't worry, we've included some tooling to help automate these tasks. Make sure to run yarn format which will run prettier over the code base using the predefined settings for the NX repository. You'll also want to run yarn documentation to automatically update or generate new documentation to be included in the nx.dev website. Finally, make sure your commit messages follow the conventions outlined in the contributing.md file. Once your files have been staged, you can run yarn commit to have Committizen walk you through creating a commit message that will pass the lint rule. You choose a type and a scope of a change, write a description in lowercase, and optionally a longer description. Now when you push your changes, there's a git hook that will run that will verify that you've run the yarn format correctly, yarn documentation, and that your commit messages are correctly formatted. Finally, don't be afraid to ask for help. Especially if this is your first time contributing to the NX repository, it can be difficult to figure out what you need to do. But we want your help and we want to include you in this process. Thank you for being willing to contribute your time to help make NX an even better tool for everyone.